Okay, good afternoon. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Today we're going to start with a lesson you, you have uh, some information about, but we're going to go in depth. We're going to use our prayer knowledge to start with something new, okay? First of all, I'm going to give four groups of you, four girls, a paper, and I want you to write me a sentence. We're going to use these sentences to introduce our lesson, but write it fast. You have only two minutes. Okay. Are you done? Done? Okay. We're going to use the document camera. This is the first sentence. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. The first one. Let's take one in red. Oh, this is so clear. And the third one. How many sentences did we write? Four. Four. Okay. And this one, is it clear like this? I want you to look at these four pictures. Look at the sentences. Are they clear? Yes. They are. Now, the first sentence, who's going to read it for me? Yes? The boy is beside the house. The boy is beside the house. Number two. Yes? The cat is in the house. The cat is in the hat. Yes. And number three. Yes? The cat is under the tree. Under the tree. Number four. Yes? The dog is on the table on the table. Now I want you to look at these pictures and I want you to think there is something in common between them. You've used something in these four sentences. Look at them. And they all have subjects, they all have verbs. I mean something else. Okay? Something we don't always use in sentences, but today we use them. Yes? Prepositions. Prepositions. Okay. Where is the preposition in the first one? Yes? N, the first oh, one. Yeah. Beside. Beside. Yes. The second one. Yes. Would you like to circle it for me? Come circle it. Put a circle on the preposition. Okay, excellent. And number three. Yellow, wake up. Okay, circle it for me. Yes. You want to do the fourth one? Excellent. And number four, on. Excellent. So today, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about prepositions. What are we going to talk about? Prepositions. prepositions. And prepositional phrases. phrases. OK. OK. Now I want you to look at this slide, and I want you to think Look at the sentences. You have 10 sentences. What I want you to do is I want you to read every sentence, and I want you to find me where the preposition is. OK? We have the prepositional phrases underlined, and we helped you. But I want you to find out where the preposition is. Is this hard? No. But I'm going to choose. Let's choose. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready or afraid? Ready? ready. ready? Yeah. Yeah. Number one. Where's number one? Yes. Lean, do me. Do me the first one, please. The track. Let, read the sentence first and then give me the uh, preposition. The track team will, will practice inside the gym and the preposition is inside. Inside is the preposition. Excellent. Number two, I like this. Number 15, yes. I'm sorry, let, let me just, yeah. During warm weather, where's the preposition? 
loudly. Where's during warm weather? Yes, where? Hello, uh, warm is what? Action. It's an adjective. Weather is what? And now, so where's the preposition? During, excellent, during. Number three. 24. She's absent. 25, but she's absent. Number three. Number three. Lean, tell me, Aline. Jack and Liam arranged the hurls on the track. On, excellent. Okay. 20. Me. Yeah, okay. I like it when I choose you. Pedro easily leaps over every hurl. Over. Over. Okay, very good. Let's do number five. This is easy, right? Number eight. Read it for me. Where's number eight? You're number eight? Number eight, yes, yes. Uh, okay, you could come forward. Loudly. Um, then I burned my knee into the third. Hurdle. Um, into. into, excellent. So here you could see that the prepositional phrase starts. No, let's use. Let's make it a bit, okay. Color, let's choose red. Okay. What did you notice? That when I have a prepositional phrase, what does it start with? It starts with a preposition. So we could say that a prepositional phrase starts with, oh, it starts with? A preposition, okay? That's why we call it what? A prepositional phrase. That's why we teach you at the beginning prepositions, kinds of prepositions, then we give you the prepositional phrase. So you could understand that whenever you want to find a preposition, it's at the beginning of a prepositional phrase. Okay, is this clear? Yes. I said before, in no, whenever you have a prepositional phrase, it always starts with a preposition. preposition. Notice where the preposition the, the in the structure of the sentence, the preposition comes at the beginning of a prepositional phrase. Number 11. Yes. The couch kneels beside me, beside me. Beside me, yes. And here's beside. Sixteen. Who's the lucky sixteen? Sixteen. Yes. After, yes, you read number 10. It's okay, she read number 10. After, so after this practice, give me examples of preposition. Give me. Prepositions, yes, Leanne. On, Dana. In front of, beside, before, under, between, excellent, yes. On, during. raise your voice. Next to, Next to during. And and yes, and uh, behind, inside. inside, excellent. Uh, at, at. After. after, very good. Okay, now we're going to do something new. Okay, now I'm going to give you kind of a quiz. Okay, I don't want to intimidate you, but we're going to practice through this. Look at the picture. Use your eye. Your, uh, we're going to use the voting system. I want you to choose the answer, but don't take too long, okay? Read the sentence and choose the correct preposition. You have one, two, three, and four. <coughs> I want to see who's... Okay. Done? Yes, no. You're done. Let's go to the second one. Then we'll see if you answered correctly. <laughs> yes, you did it. You could do it again. You could vote. Okay, if you made a mistake, you could vote again. 
Who's going to read the sentence? Yes? At 7 o'clock they were getting... Don't say the answer. The bus. The bus. Choose. On and off over. Are you done? Yes. yes. So let's go back to the first one. I want to see if someone made a mistake. Uh oh Who chose three? Me. Number three off. Oh. Number one, five, eleven, thirteen, eighteen, and twenty. Twenty-two. Clap your hands for them. They all chose the correct preposition because look at this. Look at the picture. What is the girl doing? She's getting off. What did you choose? For God's sake, you all chose one and two. Out of. She's getting out of, okay, but we say she's getting off the bus. Who chose number four? Ch number three, off. Number four, who's number four? Who's number eight? Where's number eight? Number eight. Number eight, where are you? Where are you, number eight? Tell me, where are you? Who's eight? You chose in? Ah, oh, you can't see top. You could change okay, your place. We, we can uh, do it again. Yes, we're gonna do another one. Okay. Now, look at this one, this picture, and I want you to choose the correct answer. You have over, in, across, and off. Choose your voting system, and choose correctly. Okay. Number four is off. You're all voting. Number nine and ten. Yes. Okay. Stop. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? Number one, two, three, four, eight, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22. Excellent. You got the correct answer, which is number three. She is walking across. across the street. But what about the other? Why did you choose two and one? She's walking over, she's walking in. Oh my God, in? <laughs> Are you good today? Did you have breakfast? <laughs> no. Okay, it seems that we're getting better in it because now we have more correct answers. Let's do another one. Okay. Sentence. Sentence. Yes, yes, sir. Lovely. 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 Blank, blank with the shop. shop. Choose, Choose the, the correct, correct answer. answer. You have off, on, over, into. into. Choose, Choose the, the correct, correct answer. answer. Number, Number 11, 11 15, 15. Come on. Choose. Who's 15? 15? Are, Are you thinking, thinking about, about it? it? No. Okay, okay, why, why did you choose? choose? You, you can't can see, see it? it? Okay, okay, you can stand, stand up. up. Stand, stand up, number 15. You have, have to choose. You have, have the first, first option. is off, on, over, and number four is into. into. Choose. choose. After we've practiced using prepositions, and now you master it, we're going to go into prepositional phrase. Could you start reading it for me, Jude? Yes. Prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases are used to describe and give more information about other words. Okay. Starts in the preposition, includes modifiers, a, and, the. Okay. And what? ends with the next noun, which is called the object of the preposition. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, what did you understand from this? What did you understand? Who's going to tell me? Yes? Who said me? Yes, Shadad? The prepositional phrase always starts with a preposition. Uh-huh. And that the noun and the prepositional phrase holds the object of the preposition. Yes. Look at this sentence. The cat jumped on the table. Who could tell me where is the prepositional phrase? 
I want the phrase, not the preposition. I want the prepositional phrase. Yes, Tamara? On the table. On the table. This is the prepositional phrase. Okay, tell me, where is the preposition? I want the preposition. I asked you for something specific. Yes? It's on. It's on. So on is the preposition. Okay? Very good. Where is the object of the preposition? The object of the preposition. Yes? The table. The table. Excellent. The table. So, a prepositional phrase is made of two components. The preposition and the, prep the object of the preposition. preposition. Does the object of preposition come before the preposition? No. 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 When, where does it come? After. After the preposition. And this is the object of preposition. Is this clear? Yes. This is kind of easy because now you know that every single prepositional phrase starts with a? Preposition. With a preposition. Okay? Excellent. Hello. There's something you have, have to know that preposition, a prepositional phrase can tell you something. And it adds to your information. It might tell you when, where, or how something happens. For example, read for me this one. Yeah. Yes. We, want, uh, we, we went. We went running with our friends. friends. Okay. What, what question could I ask you about this? What question can I ask you about it? About this. We went running with a question uh, with uh, my friends, our friends. Ask a question about this sentence. I want you to form me a question that this is going to be its answer. Form a question. Yes, yes, Tamara, Rini. Who? Who? Who did you go running with? What do I answer? We went running with our, our friend. friend. So here, this sentence tells, tells me something about who went running with me. Look at the second one. Yes. We went running on the track. On the track. This tells me what? Where? 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 So I could say, where did you go running? We went, go, ru we went running on the track. So here it told me how, here it told me where. What about the third one? New hands, yes. We went running after school. Yes, we went running after school. This tells me what, where, no. how, no. what? When. when, when did I go running? I went running after school, excellent. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do for today is we're gonna practice a little bit and we're gonna end our lesson for today. Okay, let's start with number one. The track is well lit after dark. In each sentence below, underline the prepositional phrase and the preposition once and the preposition twice. Yes, Tamara, I want you to come to the board and try and do it. You could use the whatever pen you like. Choose. Okay. The track is well lit after dark. After dark. The after dark. Uh huh. And after the preposition. Excellent. Very good. Clap your hands for her. Excellent. Second one. But change the color of the pen, if you please. Yes. Change the color of the pen. To make it more attractive. You chose green? Okay, purple? Okay. Uh huh. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yes, Yeni. Leanne, choose another color, please. White? Okay, green is good. Close it, close it. Yes, thank you very much. I jog every day except Sunday. Except Sunday. Ex e except Sunday. Is what? Every day except Sunday is a preposition. Prepositional every phrase day. starts with what? Every day. Every day is a preposition? No. No, so it starts except. with? Except. Except, except. Is a Excellent. Clap your hands for her. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, Lynn. Could you do me number four, if you please? Yes, you, you look sleepy today. Yes, test. Every morning.
morning, Lydia and her dog run around the lake. Choose your favorite color. What's your favorite color? Purple? Okay. Where is the prepositional phrase? Preposition. And where is the prepositional phrase? We said the prepositional phrase starts with what? With a preposition. So where is the prepositional phrase? It starts with a preposition. Okay. Well, it's at the beginning of the prepositional phrase. Okay. Okay, very good. Clap your hands for her. So this is the prepositional phrase. Very good. Yeah, number five. I want you to choose me the color red. Yes. Yes. Come. Choose red. Thank you. Yes. Our school sponsors. You're not going to read the sentence. You just want to do it. Okay. And excellent. The last one is going to be a challenge. Let's see. We're going to go back. Okay, number 10. Yell. The system chose you. Do me this last one. Which color? Blue? Okay, good. Close it if you please. Thank you. Runners collect money from family and friends. Excellent. Where's the preposition? Family. Where's the prepositional phrase? Uh, family and friends. Family and friends. Is this clear? Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Okay, let's close this. And what is he telling you? Great job. great job. Did he do a great job? Yes. Do you enjoy the lesson? Yes. What was the best part of it? <laughs> yes, tell me, what was the best part of it? Using the voting system? Why do you like the voting system? Because it helps us um, understand more. And it's yeah. Fun to use. Yes, it's fun, right? What else? Only the voting system? What else did you like about it? The camera. The camera, document camera. Why? It helps you to, 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 to put the things on the smart uh, On the board. smart board. Is it better than just writing on the board? Yes. yes. How? Yes. So someone else, tell me, what do you like about the I like the voting system. What about you? Why do you like the voting system? Yes, Balqis. But raise your voice, if you please. I like the choosing system. You like choosing? The answer to what? How is choosing the answer different than answering on a paper or in an exam or online? It's easier. It's easier. Okay, what else? You could do what? If you answer the first time and your answer was wrong, what could you do? You could change it. You could change your answer. That's if I give you time. If I don't give you time, you can. Because writing takes a long time to do. And when you press just a button, it gives you less time. To less work. time, yes. So you have more time to think, yes. and it's not going to take you a lot of time to choose. Excellent. Someone wants to say anything else about the voting system? Mm -hmm. Would you like to use it always? Yes. yes. What about the document camera? Tell me more about it. Why do you like it? I like using it. You know that. But why do you like me using it? It's a new idea. It's a new idea. And it's the technology into our uh-huh, it adds more technology into our class. It makes our previous material electronic, so we can... Uh, Raise your voice. We can uh, make uh, happy or funny things in the class, we'll so we not... Yeah, it's more fun, okay, to use it. Is it better if I just held these papers and I told you, okay, read this, then, okay, read this, then, read this, and read this. Would it be much more easier to do this or to use the camera, the, the document camera. The camera. Why? Because what did, what did I do at the beginning of this, uh, the class? I put four pictures on the board and I asked you to do what? Read, read, read them and do what? To discuss them. And yes, to discuss them, to compare them. So the board helps you because you could do what? See them, see them. I might see, yes, you could see them more clear than if I just hold your papers. Okay? Yeah. This is really good. What else would you like us to do in the next classes? Would you like us to keep on using the board, using yeah. uh, yeah. this technology? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. What about the uh, curtain, the highlighter, these pens? Do you like using them? Yes. yes. Why, did I ask, why did I ask you to use 
Good evening. Um, I'm a teacher in modern system schools. Uh, we had a very nice experience by using a document camera. In our classes, uh, we have many subjects. Uh, I'm, um, from my point of view, uh, I saw the uh, web camera is very, very interesting. It attracts the students uh, and uh, uh, it's very flexible. We used a uh, document camera uh, by voting system, using voting system. For instance, uh, you could distribute a paper for the students and then they answer it. After a while, you could see the correct answers. By uh, evaluating the uh, correct answers, uh, it, it, uh, it gives you uh, the, um, let's say, um, a good uh, evaluation for a question. If a question, uh, the students cannot answer this question correctly, you could repeat it and you could hit your goal in, uh, in the class. Uh, also, uh, you could use the document camera in more than one class. For instance, you could make it uh, or use it uh, for a class and repeat the same subject in uh, another class. Uh, also, I, uh, I like uh, a, very, a very nice thing in this camera. For instance, you give the uh, students an, uh, a question and then you have more than one answer. You could take the papers from the students, put it under the camera, and then display it on the screen. So you, the, all the students can show the, the, their answers, and you could split the uh, screen for uh, two papers, six papers, or uh, eight, wh whatever yani you want. And uh, all the students can uh, show their uh, answers. Uh, from my point of view, recommendly, recommendly, I agree for using a document uh, camera and, uh, you know, all the words now follow the technology. So you could follow the technology and um, I uh, would like finally thank uh, our uh, um, director by uh, giving us a chance to follow the latest technology in the world. Thank you very much. Bismillah rahman rahim us being the generation of technology, the society has nicknamed us, the society has nicknamed us natives. So our school understood our needs and helped us and provided us with technology systems that was, that was really helpful in our studying. So they helped us in, uh, in bringing us new and different uh, technology systems, such as the voting system and the, docu and the document cameras. Stop. Uh, the document. <laughs> the document camera is a great tool. We have been we have been learning things on it, so you know we could see everything clearly on the board in a few seconds. Uh, if somebody, if sometimes uh, teachers or sometimes teachers or students bring an uh, an article or uh, something, so we just could put it in a few seconds. It will be on the board. It was really interesting when we first used the voting system. We felt that we are all heard and noticed. Even those who didn't answer, we know them. Well, I show my answers and, uh, and I know what the class feelings and thoughts. When we knew the voting system, we used them to choose our parliament member in our school. We find ourselves using them as we are going to choose our real parliament member. We, it was a really, vain, a really good experience, and then we love it, and we going, we love to go to use them in the future. Thank you. What's so distinctive in this uh, school, or very special, is involving technology in its, or let's say, as an essential method in uh, uh, in its educational. Uh, policy. Now, academically speaking, using technology in class helps a lot breaking down the traditional way of teaching, learning, or examining uh, uh, students. Now, this idea or involving this technology, let's say, raises a sense of competition among students, and this makes them feel more attentive, feel more, um, uh, let's say, interested or, uh, or excited about the class or the issue uh, uh, being taught. Now, I tried the voting uh, system. Actually, it was very effective. It uh, 
saved time, it saved effort. It helped me a lot in, let's say, avoiding the idea of marking papers. Marks are already there, they are ready-made, let's say. Uh, another way also, or another, let's say, advantage of using the voting system that was for the students themselves, they were very, uh, let's say, uh, uh, they were able to go back to answers in order to change whatever the an answer they, they made uh, wrong or they felt they were, uh, it was wrong. Now, uh, there was another tool that I tried, that is the camera. Uh, it made me easy, or it made it easier for me to avoid scanning and use the camera itself to display a worksheet, let's say, to, for the whole class. There's another tool also, I like it very much, that is picking, picking up students. This makes me feel less biased. I, cannot, I don't have to, for example, to choose by myself. The, the, uh, uh, the system or the software itself chooses students um, and it never repeats names, so everyone has the chance to answer whatever question being asked. So I really recommend to involve this kind of technology in classes because it really helps a lot of the, the students as well as the teacher to save time, to save effort, and to, to give, let's say, more exciting, interesting spirit in, in class. And thank you. السلام عليكم حابة أحكي عن تجربتي في في تعاملي مع برنامج الهاي تيتش في أمور كتير حلوة ممتعة بالنسبة سواء للطالب أو المعلم بنفس الوقت بالنسبة لنا كمعلمين كان عندنا مشكلة الطالب اللي بيغيب عن الحصة كيف إنه إحنا بدنا نعيد لهذا الطالب بهمنا الطالب دائما يطلع عارف كل شيء فالآن بعد غيابه بيقدر يسترجع المادة مباشرة من عن البورد أوكي ويقدر يبعثها لنفسه إذا بده حاب يدرسها بالبيت هاي أول نقطة تاني واحدة إنه إحنا صار في أضفنا عنصر المتعة في الحصة يعني ممكن أنا أكون من خلال مش على طول سؤال حل وأشوف أجوبتكم صفة في تنافس من خلال نظام الفوتينج سيستم بيستخدم الطلاب نعمل أسئلة على نظام امتحان طلابنا بيجاوبوا والنتائج تطلع مباشرة فبصف الطالب إنه بدي شوف مين بدي جيب على إشي مين كذا هاي نقطة كتير إيجابية الطالب إحنا خاصة الصفوف القوية يعني بتحب هذا موضوع التنافس كمان في عنا نظام اللي هو إنه تترك الحكم للطالب نفسه كان عنا نظام العمل الجماعي سابقا قبل ما نستخدم هذا البرنامج مجموعات بتشتغل بالصف بيشتغلوا على ورق عمل معين ومنشوف ورق العمل ومناقش مرة واحدة على البورد الآن صف عنا باستخدام الكاميرا أنا ممكن أعرض الحلول جميعا للمجموعات بس عاملي صف في أربع مجموعات بعرض حل المجموعة الأولى والثانية والثالثة والرابعة وبيطلعوا الأربع أوراق على البورد مع بعض منخلي الطالب هو اللي يحكم الآن بيقوم طالب بميز وين الغلط في المجموعة هاي وين الغلط في المجموعة الثانية إلى آخره صف الطالب قادر يتوصل وين الغلط فهم الموضوع أكثر يعني أسلوب آخر تغيير آخر في أسلوب التعليم إنه هو استنتج وين الغلط مستحيل يرجع ينسى يعني في أمور كثير لو بدي أحكي عنها ما بنتهي بترك المجال لزميلاتي ليش؟ Using a camera web is a great and marvelous experience. Actually, I used it for um, uh, elections, for the parliament elections for students. It was a great idea. Uh, first, students, their, their eyes were looking up at the board, and the results were displayed in a very great way. Uh, it was a great um, idea. And uh, it created a democratic and uh, created um, a marvelous atmosphere for students. Uh, this is for the first um, uh, brilliant knowledge I had. The second one is uh, I didn't have to copy my material because um, actually you just put the material under the camera, at it, it snapshot it, and we can see everything on the camera um, clearly. Uh, the third thing is um, I, I could measure students' knowledge because uh, they don't have, uh, or actually uh, by voting system, we can know uh, the level where students know the point, and I can start from that point. Thank you very much. The first voting system was very interesting. It helps us to make the colors, the lines, the difference between them. It makes the student love the class. Uh, art class usually is uh, normally, and what, uh, what we have it in the, uh, the system makes it more fun, more interesting. Uh, it's easier to uh, change the colors from uh, red to light to whatever. And uh, the lines, they can make it thicker, uh, thinner. Uh, we, we used the voting system. Uh, for the students, we made uh, so many uh, sketches and make it the, uh, with the camera document. The camera uh, displayed the, all uh, sketches for the student. We made them all together on the board 
and they voted. They said which better, which uh, less, and then they vote which one to make it uh, agile for them. Uh, this class, we thank the school for it. We thank uh, the uh, people who made it for us, made, made the uh, class more fun, more easier. Uh, we have more ideas in it. We, we use the imagination, we use the images, we use the pictures, we use the sketches. Everything that comes in your mind, you can have it with this system. Thank you very much and thank you for all the people who uh, made a chance for us to make it.
Dr. Afouri, could you please describe briefly the current development of TMSC at your school? We were first introduced to the IRS and document camera in 2013. The idea seemed very appealing because we were and still are interested in technology and implementing it in education for it facilitates the learning teaching process for both students and teachers. So we started using one IRS and document camera. However, this year we are using three IRS and document cameras for the positive impact they have on both teachers and students. During the process of implementing TMSC, how could you describe the principal's role in it? What are some of the core values or beliefs the principal need to have? The principal's role is of great importance. As a leader of technology, the principal must be a lifelong learner and explorer of the new, the exciting and the useful in technology. He himself should be a knowledgeable and effective user of technology. One of his missions is to support the use of technology in the school by raising the awareness of its importance, holding meetings and providing the staff with professional development, opportunities to facilitate the integration of technology in the student learning activities. To be able to do this, the principal must be open-minded, willing to learn, flexible, and has the capacity to accept changes as a constant factor. In other words, he should carry the banner of technology in the school. Dr. Afouri, as a principal leading the process of implementing TMSC, what are some of the most valuable or unforgettable experiences? We have experienced unforgettable moments while implementing this technology. First of all, the students' reaction when voting was amazing. They became very skilled in using the voting system in a short time. Teachers were very impressed when using it as it facilitates their preparation their instant assessments and group competition. One teacher said, I used to teach, now I create a new generation who is well equipped for the future. Another expressed her gratitude saying, we don't teach history or civil education anymore. Instead, we live it. Please share your thoughts on leading this technological revolution in education, please. We have to admit that this generation is native in technology while we are only immigrants. If we don't supply them with the skills they need and only focus on information, we will lose them or actually lose ourselves as teachers. Once. Ali ibn Abi Talib said, teach your children differently than the way you were taught. They are born to a different time.